like three or four minutes walk from uh, St. Peter's Square. And here is one of many secret societies, because that's what they are, that operate within the Roman Church overall secret society, because that is what it is. This is the um, headquarters of the Jesuit order, the order of Jesus goes way back centuries and it's one of the major manipulating organizations not just within the Roman Catholic web but within the overall um, global manipulating web also um, in Rome are the headquarters of the Knights of Malta of course another one of these uh, orders that goes way back into uh, history centuries and centuries ago and there's also the Knights Templar connected to the Roman Church. And the Knights Templar, of course, have come up many, many times over recent years in terms of secrets and hiding uh, secrets and another agenda that the people never see. Hello. Hello. And inside, there's our old friend, the Sun, again. It's a cult! Well, we've come um, here, uh, just out from the centre of Rome, to what an amazing place when you look around it. You're researching kind of the esoteric symbolism and free uh, masons and, and secret societies. The, the, the name of the place says it all. It's the square of the Knights of Malta. And uh, Sanro, that has been driving us around, has brought it out here. And whoa, look at it. Uh, you've got Medusa, the, the, the lady who had the snakes coming out of her head. You've got. The snakes up there in that symbol, uh, of course very symbolic if anyone's followed my work at all, um, and down here uh, there, there's the arrows, it's very symbolic of the Rothschilds, they use arrows in their symbolism, and uh, over here we've got the, the classic Knights of Malta uh, cross, the Maltese cross, and of course the, the Knights of Malta were once called the Knights of Rhodes, and they'll go even further back um, into uh, Jerusalem. They were the, the Knights of, of St. John, which came out eventually the Knights of Malta, based here now in Rome. They kept being thrown out of places and stuff, but they've settled here now. And it's just one of these um, very, very close to the spider secret societies within this global web of manipulation with the Jesuits and with uh, Opus Dei and, uh, and uh, the Knights Templar. They kind of all, um, they all paddle in the same water basically. Flag. That's it there. With the, there's the flag, yeah. The uh, Knights of Malta. And, and, and you know, over the years, I've come across people. Oh, by the way, here you've got the. Uh, this is the equivalent of the twin towers. Um, this is the the entrance. Uh, called, and the, called the atrium. The atrium, and and there's another one over there. And it's kind of funny because today we had the royal wedding in uh, London. I forced myself to watch a few minutes of it. Thankfully, not too much. And, and you, you look at Westminster Abbey, where the real ritual went on today, the, the, the focus of the ritual with all the wedding and all that stuff, and it's, it's Twin Towers. It's what it is. And, and, and then you look at the Twin Towers on 9-11, and, and it's, it's all connected. It's all symbolism. These people are symbolism absolutely obsessed. But as I was saying, over the years, I've come across people who've had dealings with the Knights of Malta, people who've been offered jobs with them, uh, financial people, and they have been shocked because they didn't realize at that time that um, the Knights of Malta said they ran the International Monetary Fund, the IMF. Because one, one guy I knew in, in finance in America, he was offered a job with them. And it was kind of understandable why, because he, he didn't know at the time, but his father had been involved in the CIA most of his life. And um, when he said to them the question, how can you offer me a job with the Knights of Malta? You're a secret society. They said, as I just indicated, we run it. It's, it's like they're subcontracted by the, the cabal to run it, the International Monetary Fund. Um, and uh, up here you've got the, uh, the eagle or the phoenix looking both ways, you know. And that's like uh, when you look at someone and you say, the truth went that away. And... Uh, smoke and mirrors and all that stuff. There's a lot of deeper symbolism in all that as well. So this is the home of the Knights of Malta. Oh, that's a flash car, somebody there. And um, 
although people think politicians and uh, people like that run the world, they don't. People like this do it. Um, and, and even deeper secret societies, even in this. Thanks, uh, Sanro. That was great, mate. One last thing before we, uh, we leave here. Uh, Sanro's just telling me that that flag flying, that uh, Knights of Malta flag, signifies that the Italian government has got no rights, no say in what goes on here. They're not subject to the law of the rest of the Italian people. And of course, this is a common theme because the Vatican City is its own uh, country, in effect, which um, is, is a law unto itself. And then you go to the City of London, the financial district, uh, what they call the Square Mile, which has its own police force and its own government and its own uh, Lord Mayor of London, who's always a high Freemason and, and connected into that whole network. And it again, although they don't tell you, is in effect a country unto itself and a law unto itself. So this is a, a common, common thing where they create within another country uh, something that, that makes them not accountable and not subject to the laws of that country. Thank you.